Hey YouTube, the President Michael here with another autograph mail day video. Slightly different angle, I'm only going to have it for this one time. But um, this is another autograph mail day video. And um, I haven't um, got too much stuff in since I last did a video. Oh, before I go on with my autograph video, I posted several videos for Princess Code autograph for a contest she's doing, showing several of the binders that I have. Um, I have a lot more, a lot more. I'm not gonna be able to get to all of them, but I thought I would show you some in it. Um, check out her YouTube or um, Facebook page. She also has a YouTube page, but check out her Facebook page. Um, she has information about the contest if you want to enter. Either way, I thought it'd be fun to um, show some of my stuff. Okay, this is what I got in since I last filmed a video. First, let me show you this. Now, y'all remember how I did the um. The Greg Gottfeld video and I showed what I got signed and the pictures I had taken with him. Well, um, he had some merchandise on his page commemorating the, the book tour. So I decided to pick uh, pick up a couple things. First I got, this is probably the last thing I'll show with regard to him unless I get another autograph or I meet him again or something like that. I bought a cup with a picture on it. It's commemorating the um, book tour. It's, what is his um, book's called? Not cool. I also bought this t shirt with his face on it, and it has about the book tour in the back. And I met him at um, Orlando, which is right there. Okay, let's do the rest of the purchases first. Uh, I've been wanting this gentleman's autograph for a long time. Um, sadly, he passed away. Uh, he, he was a great actor, and this is one of my top wanted. This is a card signed by John Neville. He's been a ton of great stuff. Uh, one movie, and I haven't seen in years and years and years, was The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. A great, great movie. Kind of odd. Had a lot of odd stuff in it, but it was a great movie he was in. And um, he's also well known for being the well manicured man in X Files. And he's been a lot of other things, uh, the Fifth Element, and I mean he had a real he had a decades and decades long career. Great actor, he was from the UK. He passed away a couple years ago, I believe. But John Neville. Okay, um, let's get to this first. A couple books I bought, pretty cheap. This is. Hillbilly, Hillbilly Heart, a memoir by Billy Ray Cyrus, Miley Cyrus' father. And it is signed by Billy Ray Cyrus right here. This was super cheap. Here's another book. This is the body book. The Law of Hunger, The Science of Strength, and the Other Ways to Love Your Amazing Body by Cameron Diaz. Some get autographs from her through the mail, but I'm a little skeptical with a celebrity of her stature. I mean, you can never really tell, so I decided. Uh, I know this is real. This originally came from um, a well-known legitimate company. So, I'm going to get it. And let me... Alright, the last purchase I bought, bought a couple of um, photographs. Uh, they were listed as unidentified. Well, let me show you the first one, and I haven't got a chance to figure out who they are yet. This was probably taken in the 40s or the 1950s. Signed by each of these gentlemen. Um, I have an idea who it might be. It might be someone either well-known attorneys, maybe someone in journalism. Could be politics, but I'm not sure. I will eventually figure it out. But this lot came with another one, and this one I did figure out. Now, it's signed by two people. I only thought it was signed by one, but the one autograph's really faint. But 
The better autograph is the one who's nice and clear. See that? This autograph right here, you know what that is? I thought, you know, that strangely looks like Eisenhower. And it is Eisenhower. Unfortunately, not Dwight D. Eisenhower, but almost as good. This is Milton S. Eisenhower, his brother, one of his brothers. And his autograph isn't, a, I mean, isn't, isn't super expensive, it isn't super cheap either. But I got this super, super duper cheap. And he was one of, he was president of several, several different universities. Of course, Ike's brother and a whole bunch of other things he's well known for. But I'm so excited to have this. This gets me even closer to again, Dwight Eisenhower's autograph. And right here, if you could see, it's not very easy. I mean, I can see it okay from here. It's signed by another autograph. Now, you think it would be signed by, like, her. But I think, no, I already know who it's signed by. It's signed by Charles Percy. He was a, um, he's a former United States Senator. I don't believe he's in the photo. At least, I don't think that's him because... This is signed to Larry, looks like to Larry Bud with best, wishin, best wishes, Milton S. Eisenhower. I'm assuming that Larry Bud is in the middle. And I believe this is Eisenhower here. I don't know who that is. Maybe um, this guy's wife. Percy must have been at the event and decided to sign the photo for some reason. But pretty good pickup, pretty historic, fine, super cheap. Uh, between these two photos that I bought in this lot, it was only like 10 bucks. So five bucks each and that includes shipping. So very excited. I might even frame this photo. I don't know. I gotta think about it. And they sent it, both of them separate top loaders, which was very kind to them. Okay, now on to the TTMs. A couple um great 87 tops cards. And I haven't had luck with this guy in the past. But I've been seeing people have luck and I decided to try it. Now, I don't know if I sent him two cards or three. I don't remember if he had three cards in the set. I gotta look. If it's only two cards and I got both in the back, if it was three, maybe he kept one. But I'm not sure. But this is Wade Boggs. Super great player. Actually, one of the first minor league teams he played with was the Elmira Pioneers in New York. I used to live near them. I used to go see them play all the time. Um... That was one of the really last great times when they were affiliated with the Red Sox. They were affiliated with the Red Sox for almost 20 years. And then they changed affiliations to the Florida Marlins. They weren't really that good after that. And then he went independent. Um, the independent ball there for a while was pretty good. It was almost high A. But since I left there, they kind of dropped to like a semi-professional collegiate league. So they kind of fallen from when they quite a bit from when they were affiliated with the um, Boston Red Sox. But uh, Wade Box played there. Um, here's an author, uh, Lori King. Sent the photo. And she sent um, a couple business cards. Unsigned. The last one is a great playbill success. I've already had a play uh, sign playbill from this um, production, but I decided to write to them again because they have a couple great act, um, great actresses involved now with the play. They didn't when I first got it. Got a little smeared, but it's it looks okay. This is Cinderella, signed by Fran Drescher, and here here is what's her name? Let me make sure. Carly Ray Jepsen, actress, singer. I believe that's her autograph uh, right there. I wasn't sure if I was going to hear back because I got a playbill from them last year. And normally I don't write a second time. But when I heard that Dresher and um, Carly is going to be with the production, I had to try and get one. Because I actually, I don't have Fran Dresher's autograph. I tried writing to her. Uh, through another address. I know some people have gotten her before, but I haven't had the luck and I really want her autograph and I didn't have Carly's either. So, and there's probably some new autographs on here from when I got the Cinderella 
uh, Playboy before. The one I got when I last wrote was colored um, bluish and pink or something like that. This is just black and white. I mean, it looks really nice. Like I said, the only one that's really smeared is the, the Fran Drescher. I could go over it with a silver marker to make it look a little bit fancier. What do you think? Should I leave it how it is? Should I use a silver Sharpie like they signed it with and just go over it? I mean, I'm never going to sell it, so it don't really matter. I don't know. I'll see. But I am very happy to have this. Um... That is it. I am bush. It is like 3.30 in the morning. I was up um, filming a whole bunch of videos for Princess Cove's autographs. Showing off several of my binders. I showed some yesterday. And she generously decided to add another um, 24 hours to the contest. So I had a chance to film more. Hopefully, I get them all uploaded tonight. If not tonight, to, um, later today, before the contest ends. Um, like I said... Before, you know, if I win it, it's great. If I don't, I'm just, actually, that's okay, too, because I got to show off some of my binders, interact with the community anymore. There's not a lot of videos, really. There's not a lot of autograph videos being put on YouTube hardly at all now. There's some, but a lot of the well-known guy, um, guys, either as, um, over the last couple of years, as, and gals, too, has disappeared, or it's just super busy with work and family, and they don't have time. So hopefully we get the community back on track and be autograph strong. Be autograph strong. Um, some of the autograph uh, or some of the um, Princess Cove autograph or um, contest videos I did. Some of the things I hurried through pretty quickly. To, uh, basically on time, I show my business card collection all in one video. Even rushing through that, it was over th like 30 minutes long. One time I want to film. Um, much more slower video. What I'm going to do is I'll do like a video per binder and then I'm going to point to the interesting, really interesting cards and talk and explain. But I had to rush through it. If not, it would have been two, three hours long because I like to explain and talk about things and point things out. Must be I like to talk too much. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, I should finally be able to get to some baseball games within the next, hopefully, uh, excuse me, like you know, it's hopefully later this week. I've been, um, I always miss pretty much April a little and some of May. Sometimes all of May before I get there. But I want to get there early because I missed a lot of last year. So I should be having some in-person. I really doubt there'll be any major league games, even though there's two major league teams in the state. I'm just not going to get a chance to get to Tampa or down definitely not to Miami so this be minor league games but there's a lot of players good players that come through um, the Florida State League because it is high A ball if you know anything about baseball you know how uh, that's a pretty good league um, I'm trying to think I'm sure there's a whole bunch more stuff I should be saying and as soon as I turn this off I'm gonna um, regret it um, finally um, one thing I want to mention, I finally started and I'm improving my video editing skills. Mainly when I would film a video, if I would make a mistake, I would just leave it. But now I figured out how to, well not cut, but um, when I would stop a video and start a new one, I was able to figure out how to put them together into one. And you know what helped? I found a video on YouTube explaining it with the uh, computer program I have on my laptop. Now I'm able to do it. I wasn't even didn't even know how to burn videos to a to a uh, DVD disc. I kept trying, didn't work. Finally, YouTube saved me again. I found a video on here, and it um, with the program I have, and I've been able to do it. It's a pain in the ass though. For some reason, my computer takes forever doing it. Practically, depending on how much I burn to a disc, 12 hours. Sure, there's a faster way. I, I just actually I just bought another laptop, so it's more up to date. I got Seattle doing that, and that should go quicker. But um, that's pretty much it. If you have any comments or questions, please put please put them below. I'll probably upload this video first before I do the uh, the Princess Cove uh, autographs um, contest entry videos. Just get this one out first. This video is actually a lot long. Pretty much, I think pretty much longer than the other ones. For them, I did um, 
a video per binder instead of doing several binders per videos. So check them out. I also showed all the playbills I currently have except this one, which I think I got this today. Oh, no, no, not today. I got this on Monday, and I filmed those videos like early, early, or no, late, late Sunday. So all of them are in that video except this one. And um, that's another one I got to refilm and just take my time and show each one, point out some of the good ones and everything. And kind of rush through that too. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like the video super, super long. And I yeah, I don't like them either because it takes forever to upload. And I've been told a lot don't like watching 20, 30 minute plus video. So I try to keep them. Uh, we're already at 1551. So I'm going to try to cut now. So it's not too long. Uh, this is President Michael. If you have any comments or questions, uh, please put them below. And look, if um, you do autograph videos, and if you haven't done it for a while, try to start again. We really need to get this community back on track. We lost a lot of great uh, YouTubers um, the last couple years, unfortunately. And we really need to try to get some of them back. Probably get some, and also get some new ones. You know, encourage each other to do videos. If you have time, comment on other videos, like them, let let um, YouTubers know that you appreciate the hard work they put into this. It is a lot of work. This isn't easy. Just I mean, filming it, uploading it, depending on how you do it. You know, video editing, showing the stuff, all that things. It's actually a lot of work. And I know we all appreciate getting some um, positive feedback. But uh, putting your feedback below, even if it's negative. If you have any questions, let me know. And remember again. The President Michael says to be autograph strong. And the United Autographs, what did I want to say? Uh, United Autographs of the World. United World of Autographs, whatever you want to say. United States Autographs, United Universe of Autographs, whatever. But to be autograph strong. Yeah, you, right there. You sitting there in that chair probably watching this video. Watching this face make noises from this mouth to you to be autograph strong you alright well I gotta go I blabbered enough and we're already over 17 minutes and 33 seconds so I'll talk to you soon YouTube and um well just talk to you soon alright bye YouTube bye